Most of last year, I lived out of this Tesla Model Y, sleeping in the back, and I'm taller than most people. I'm six foot three inches tall, but it's worked really well. And today, I'm gonna to be sharing some of my favorite uh, Tesla camping accessories. Some of these items are definitely must-haves. Even if you're doing a short camping trip for maybe a night or two, uh, they can really improve your comfort and um, just experience overall. So let's dive into looking at each of these items and I'll probably show you a few more as well. Depending on where you're camping and how long you're camping, you might wanna pick some of these things up. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna recommend first is getting yourself a good sleeping bag. Uh, I grew up doing Boy Scouts, doing a lot of camping and um, I've had a lot of camping pads over the years. Uh, this one, it's inflatable. Uh, it's very durable. Uh, my parents' dog has walked on this and there's no damage whatsoever. Instead of getting a larger mattress, um, which could be good for shorter trips, uh, I went with this because it's very portable. It doesn't take up much space. I can easily carry it around if I do camp or tent camping as well. And uh, that also brings me to my second uh, highly recommended item. Uh, this is just a small portable tent. A lot of designated camping areas or campgrounds, they don't allow you to actually sleep in your car. So I've decided to bring this along with me everywhere and I've set it up quite a few nights uh, where it was required to sleep in a tent. And hypothetically, I might've just set it up and slept in the car anyways. And that brings me to the third item, which I highly, highly recommend for camping in a Tesla. That's picking up window covers. So these I picked up right away. Uh, they're pretty thin, but they do pretty, a pretty good job with blocking out light. And uh, when I do want to stealth camp, it prevents people from being able to see in through the windows. Uh, so one of the one of the best accessories if you plan to do uh, some car camping and in the morning too uh, the the top roof it lets in a lot of light and it was really nice waking up with the sun quite a few mornings but sometimes i wanted to sleep in uh, so you can pick up some basic uh, roof window covers as well uh, those had little clips that hit in on the side but these window covers just kind of pop in. They're custom fitted to the windows. There are quite a few providers out there of these, uh, but highly, highly recommend for camping in the Tesla. And just jumping back to the sleeping pad, uh, of course, depending on where you're at, it's good to bring some warm blankets along. Uh, this is a highly rated um, old sleeping bag, which I did on, I, I had this when I was back in Boy Scouts. Uh, over 15 years ago and um, it's held up well over the years and uh, one nice thing too while car camping make sure you bring good pillows uh, those can really help you improve the rest that you get and now hopefully you already have this uh, for your Tesla it's good to have mobile chargers um, some campsites do allow you to slow charge overnight so having the different connectors helps uh, although oftentimes I'll find myself on forest service roads with absolutely no, uh, no plugins, but there are a few places where I was able to get a slow charge overnight, or I even stealth camped a few places uh, at slow chargers um, in various towns and cities. For another Tesla camping accessory, uh, it is good to get floor mats. Um, depending on where you're camping, maybe you'll be doing some hiking, it might rain, who knows, get a little bit muddy. Uh, but having these, it makes it a lot easier to clean and just reduces some wear and tear on the uh, below that. So highly recommend that as well. Um, and that's just good for a lot of different use cases of a Tesla. Now let's check out the frunk. So... What was nice when living out of my car, I could keep dirty, uh, smelly shoes in here as well as laundry uh, and climbing gear and whatnot. Um, but one thing that is nice when camping, if you like to do some cooking, uh, I have a little jet boil here and there's a little uh, canister in here which is replaceable. Um, uh, you can pick these up easily at Walmarts and a lot of other locations, uh, but this will allow you to kind of quickly heat up water, do some very basic cooking. I've used it to make tea before and also some soups. 
uh, on a cold day this could be quite nice um, but I don't recommend using this in your car uh, you're gonna probably want to be outside on a on a picnic bench like there is right over here um, but this is pretty quick and convenient if you like to do some basic cooking another nice to have item which is definitely not camping specific uh, but I picked up a little portable um, a tire pump I picked one up for my old Honda this was years back and since uh, it's been nice luckily I haven't had to use it for the Tesla yet but who knows might come in handy especially if you're out in some kind of remote area For another accessory, or this is just kind of a category of accessories, uh, having, um, this is rechargeable, but it has some backup batteries as well. Uh, having uh, lanterns, headlamps, lights, uh, just for most camping that you might do, these are good to have. Um, some places I stayed got very dark, uh, a lot of good kind of tree coverage out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so having some light um, was useful at times. You might want to consider uh, bringing a camping chair along. Uh, some places, quite a few places I'd land did not have picnic benches uh, like the one you'll see over there. Uh, so having a small little portable camping chair, uh, which doesn't take up a lot of space, uh, can definitely come in handy as well. So there you have it. Those are some of my favorite Tesla camping accessories. Uh, they can really improve comfort and your safety. So if you have any questions, uh, once again, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick to respond. And uh, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate uh, everyone that's kind of followed my story so far. And uh, I, I do hope to share more content and ideas soon.